Welcome back to another new amazing video on Vedic Astrology. My name is Gautam. I am the host for this channel of yours, Astro Science. And in today's video, it's going to be special because uh, I'm going to start a very new, brand new playlist called as Corporate Astrology. And this is going to be the very first video in this playlist, Corporate Astrology. So let me introduce to you guys that what is Corporate Astrology. But before that, if you are new to this channel and if you haven't subscribed, do subscribe it now. Click the bell icon, click to it and you will get notifications for many amazing video, videos on Vedic Astrology. Okay, So do check all my playlists also because you would find about your zodiac sign, about planets, about you know mathematics, every possibility which you want to really learn in Vedic Astrology. Let's start with Corporate Astrology. So corporate astrology is, is you know, based on all the things which are very essential for a person who is in corporate field or in, you know, who is working in, in any job or any business or, you know, want to really grow and upscale uh, their career. So co corporate astrology is going to be more career centric and it, it's going to focus more on how can, you know, Vedic astrology can really help you in terms of your day-to-day -day activities, your day-to-day -day things uh, at your workplace, be it your job, be it your office, be it your you know business, astrology can really help you to upscale your business, to increase the ROI, the return over investments, and so many things. A uh, couple of things which would which I would you know include in this specific playlist is number one. What are the things, what are the do's and don'ts which a person or which you should do in your day-to-day -day life at your workplace? What are the things which can really help you? Like, you know, what are the things which are, which can really unleash the positive side of yours and you can really shine at your workplace through your birth chart based on your, based on your Vedic astrology. These are a couple of things which I would, in, uh, you know, include. Uh, second things which I would include is, uh, that's based on how can you know, astrology or Vedic astrology can really help in the hiring process and specifically the human resource department. Because, uh, for example, and, and I know a lot of people, a lot of clients of mine who are doing hiring based on astrology, like if they have to hire a senior position person based on their birth chart, would that person be suitable for the company, for the organization, for the people, yes or no, based on that, you know, there are a lot of decisions which has, uh, which are being, you know, taken in, in corporate world. Vedic astrology can also help in, you know, what is the good time for advertising, investments, branding. Uh, in this specific playlist, you would see videos related to uh, what is the lucky color which you can use in, in your logo, say for example. Because if you have a lucky color and if you use if you make your business logo based on your lucky color, you are going to uh, excel in whatever field, whatever business, you know, whatever business you would start. So a few of, you know, examples which I am giving you. Uh, then more examples related to, you know, all, you know, corporate astrology can help you in all the departments, be it HR department, be it IT department, be it marketing, like, you know, how branding can be done based on astrology, be it sales department, what are the things uh, which uh, salespeople have to, you know, take care? Which are the good directions? I remember when I was in, in my corporate world, uh, at that time, I was almost like, you know, learning astrology and I used to use astrology in my, you know, uh, in my corporate world. Like, which direction should I go for, uh, for meeting and what are the things which I should avoid in my presentation skills? When I used to sit in front of anyone, like, you know, my client, just, you know, by looking at them and by, by looking at the overall uh, atmosphere which is like the vastu shastra side of the you know the world and looking at everything i used to kind of it, it, these things used to really help me to you know uh, plan things and and i was like really successful in doing that so the, certainly i feel i really believe that you know vedic astrology will 200 percent can help you in shaping uh, you know all the good things all the positive things from your corporate world from your job or from you know your entrepreneurship a uh, few of the other things which Vedic astrology can really help you is in mergers and acquisitions like what is the good time for merging and acquisition 
uh, who would who would be your good partner in your business uh, should you do business uh, partnership yes or no as corporate astrology will be able to give you answers on that uh, then few of the other things like what is a good time to sign any important agreement because when we start any business uh, we have to be you know very careful in terms of an auspicious day and an auspicious time and if you you know sign that agreement to start the business on the right mahurat on the right auspicious time which would be really lucky for you you would see excellent results in that and vice versa if you know a lot of people they accidentally not they do not join the right comp- the, the company at the right time and they see like instability or they don't last in in one specific organization for many years so so many so many things so many topics which would which i would you know i'm planning to cover in this specific playlist and do comment below and let me know what are the other things which you really want to know from your job your business what are the questions which you have out of your you know work your day to day work and i would be happy to do some astrology uh, related your work centric vi- more videos and lastly i wanted to also uh do more videos in this playlist based on uh, what are the events which an organization should do to increase the camaraderie between the uh, you know people uh, to increase a very strong positive relationship between inter department like you know marketing finance hr it uh all the departments logistics departments and different departments in your organizations so what are the things what are the events what are the right events and where has to be even kept like should the company should the organization do event in the same city or like in a different city these things which you know which i would be including in corporate astrology so thank you very much for watching this video as always do hit the like button if you really enjoyed the video and i'll see you next time with another new video on vedic astrology till that time take care and stay blessed goodbye